All right, I'm here. Not only a door separates me from the sitting room where Akia awaits. Oh, we're going to get scolded big time. No matter what the circumstance was, there's no excuse for skipping school and not coming home for two days. Now, let's see. A lying will only get us more into trouble and telling the truth. Uh, I don't think it's wise. Since Akia seems to be hiding stuff for herself too, so... I think we should do the same. I can't explain the circumstances. But I'll at least apologize. That's right. I think that's the best choice. I don't think Akira will understand about non-humans like Akrit and Nero. And since I can't, I can't tell the truth, I should at least sincerely apologize. Alright, let's go. Taking a deep breath, I open the sitting room door. In the sitting room, Akia is on the sofa and Hisui is standing by the wall. Good morning, Nissan. Her gaze is telling me I am angry. Um, uh, morning, Akia. Let's dispense with greetings. Please sit there. Let the interrogation begin. I mean, I wish to speak with you, Nissan. My words are so forceful, I can't say no. I solemnly and calmly sit down on the sofa across from her. Nissan, this is very abrupt, but may I ask about these past two days? Uh, despite the polite language, Akia's words are unmistakably a threat. But her only chan cannot tell her such a story. How about that, Akia? Yes, what is it? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. Crash. The ticket that Akia was holding falls to the table. Rather, I think she dropped it intentionally. Akia sama. Oh, I'm sorry, Isui. Would you please clean it up? Hisui silently cleans up the spilled tea and the shards of the very expensive looking teacup. I initially watch her do so while Akia is glaring at me. I guess that she did this on purpose just to make us uneasy. Once done cleaning, Hisui goes to the kitchen. And then Nissan. Yes? Could I ask you again? Akia doesn't give up. I can feel really it drive to get the story out of me no matter what. But still, I don't think I can tell her about it. Of course not. Just for my sake, but hers as well. No, no matter how many times you ask me, I can't tell you. I feel sorry that I made you worry, but I can't tell you about it. Even though you are sorry, you can't tell me, Nissan. That's right. I'm sorry I haven't contacted you and for not being able to talk about it. But I haven't done anything wrong the past two days. I don't even want to think. That was the wrong thing to do. That's right. Even these past two days were simply kill or be killed. I want to believe it was the right thing to do. I did it to help Akweed, but most of all, I do not regret killing that cannibalistic monster. At least, there will be no more victims killed by having their blood drained. I'm sorry, Akia. I'm sorry to make you worry, but please, don't ask me anymore. Akia stares at my eyes for a while, 
She stays like that. I understand. Thinking about it, you must have your reasons. I won't press you on this anymore, Nissan. I'm sorry. Thanks for understanding. I don't think she understands. Or maybe she does. I understand. Then, I will no longer ask about this. But please refrain from doing anything like this ever again. Nisan, you are the eldest son of the Tona family. If you do not understand your position better, it will be very troubling. Hey, that has nothing to do with this. Besides, you are the successor to the Tono family, so it doesn't really matter what I do. If you are so worried about the future of the Tono family, you should go find a husband appropriate for the Tono household. Huh? For some reason, I get the sense into silence. What's wrong? Are you feeling alright, Akia? It's nothing. If you have enough time to worry about me, please pay more attention to yourself. You have your chronic anemia to worry about, Nissan. <laughs> well, it's true that I frequently collapse from anemia. Which I don't think is anemia, but... That's a whole other matter. Anyway, please do not leave the mansion by yourself often. Even without that, the city is dangerous recently. Someone like you who meanders about in the days is just asking to be attacked by the serial killer. Serial killer? Oh, the serial killings. Those serial killings when none victims have been found. Their bodies were all drained of blood. So they call it the modern day vampire, but. Oh, that's okay. Those incidents. They won't ever happen again. Huh? It means the vampire isn't around anymore. That killer is caught already. Is that so? Nissan, how do you know about that? Well, I just happened to see it. But, for sure, such things will not happen again. This is just going to make Akia more suspicious. Yeah, at least. There won't be any more people killed by Nero. These past two days spent with Arkweed. So many things happened, I really can't say. Just what is right and what is wrong. But the simple truth remains. I can say it was all for the best. Nissan? What happened? You suddenly seem very happy. I can't look strangely at my face. It's nothing. I just feel that it's finally, finally over. A smile unconsciously creeps over my lips as I answer. It's half past seven. I can't have left 20 minutes earlier than me by car after eating Hakusan's delicious breakfast. I decide to head for school. I feel like the whole conversation just made Akia more suspicious of us.
If she walks with me to the gates, carrying my bag, well, I'll be going. Thanks for seeing me, obviously. If she wordlessly hands me my bag. Hikisama, around what time will you be returning? You don't trust me either? It's okay, I'll definitely be back in the afternoon. I understand. And please be careful on your way. Please be bow steeply. Feeling a bit embarrassed about it, I leave the mansion skate. At the intersection, there are only the figures of my fellow high school students. No young woman sitting on the cartwheel like that one time. Well, of course. I probably won't ever see her again. And that would make me very sad. First of all, her goal was to execute the vampire and with Nero gone. There is no reason for her to stay around here any longer. Just a little bit in my chest. Things like regret and lingering affection. Because she was just so adorable. It is true she only brought trouble but even still. It was fun being with her. What? Am I stupid? I almost got killed. What part of that would make me feel lingering affection? Because she is cute. The wounds from last night still hurt. Remember back when... You almost became Nero's food? You certainly don't want something like that to ever happen again. The school bell rings. Crap, I'll be late. Shaking off my idle thoughts, I run to the school gate. I hope that this school bell won't give me some copyright claim like the one in Gail's Child did. I fly into my classroom. It's still five minutes before class, so it's very noisy outside. Or inside, I should say. Phew! I take a breath and head to my seat. With as much time left, I didn't even need to run at all. Yo, a Duke of Delinquency. That's quite a title. From behind, I hear the voice I never look forward to. What's going on till now? I never heard you were skipping class. That's a lot of trouble. You have to tell me when you skip school and go play. Ari gives us those preposterous words with an unbelievably happy expression. Why should I have to tell you when I don't go to school? Isn't it obvious? Why you don't show? Now to the standby. So it's bad unless I think of something ahead of time. What's bad for this guy? But seriously, what happened? Since middle school you've had anemia, but never skipped school. Well, you did that gold trick several times, leaving as soon as you ar arrived. It's kind of like that. I made it to the intersection and felt bad, so I went back home. Mm. Both you and you Mizuka seem to be acting like bad students lately. Well, I'm guilty as charged, but there's something wrong with you Mizuka san? Her? She's been absent lately. She was always such an honor student, so I think she might have been stressed out. I do wonder since when she's been missing or absent. If she's been absent since one day, then that might mean that another vampire of another something is out there. But I bet she can't call her race. Well, she has a bad hand. Ariko's words are always 
very unique. No room charm rings out. Well, I'm off. Since you skipped Saturday, make sure you study hard today. Enrico leaves the room quietly, or quickly, I should say. In other words, he is going to skip class today. Why even show up at school if you're going to skip class? Morning classes end. With the bell announcing lunchtime, half the people in the classroom clear out. Well then, what should I do? Enrico isn't here. So, I should take my time and eat lunch. Oh, Tonokun, you're by yourself? Yeah, Senpai, did you come here to eat? Yes, I thought I would eat with everyone. So I hurried over here, but... He stares. Without any warning, she looks at my face intently. I don't know what she's thinking, but she suddenly draws close to me. Hey, is that Senpai? He's right next to me, almost embracing distance. Something could be wrong with my heart, if it wasn't beating quickly. Senpai doesn't say anything, he only stands right next to me and sniffs. Okay. I kind of get the feeling that she's really trying to keep an eye on us because of the whole recent vampire business. Huh? What is she doing? Somebody then gets away. Uh, senpai? Tonakun, did something happen? He asked me with a serious look. To be blunt, I don't know what's going on. Something, uh, like what? I don't know. I don't know, that's why I'm, I'm asking. She looks up at me as if she was angry. Nothing. I'm just as always. Do, do I seem strange today? Mm, I'm not sure either. I just thought so, so perhaps I was just imagining things. Huh? I thought I had a confusion. Well, shall we get lunch? You are eating at the cafeteria today, right, Tonokun? If we don't hurry, the seats will be all taken. Ah, yeah. You're eating at the cafeteria too, senpai? Yes. I want to eat something good today. She grins. And pulls me by the hand as she starts walking. In the end, I talk with senpai about the athletic festival in two weeks and the Goji Festival shortly thereafter over lunch. Let me guess, the lunch is... curry. To tell the truth... <laughs> I said by saying, I want to eat something good, and ordering curry leaves more of an impression in my mind than what we talked about. Classes end and school is over. And I love this game. I mean, maybe it's just that these older visual novels have a certain charm, but I'm really, really enjoying this visual novel. Um, what should I do now? Go out into the city and look for her? Space out in the classroom? Just return to the mansion and rest? Uh, 
I did say I want to go for Aqui's route first. So spacing out in the classroom would just nudge me towards Shell Senpai, I think. And returning to the mansion won't help. Let's go into the city and look for her. I assume that by looking for her, it's Aquit. Don't know who's talking about. Mushiki, I should say. First name basis and all. I go out in town endlessly. Why the heck am I walking around here for no reason? It's just a mistake. And there's no reason she's still around. And it's not like I have any reason to talk with to her. So, why did I think it was her? Why am I walking around town pointlessly like, like this? I have to go back to the mansion. I shake my head as I was trying to clear my head of the drunkenness and turn away from the non existent illusion of Arcuit. I was so hoping to actually get a glimpse of her. I head up the road and run near the mansion. After a little more walking, I see his wee standing by herself at the front gate. Possibly keeping an eye out for us arriving. I wonder what his wee is doing. Tilting my head to the side, I head for the front gate. She realizes I'm here and bows her head. Welcome back, Shikisama. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks, Yusumi. I can barely reply since I'm bewildered by the respectfulness of it all. Um, were you waiting for me to come home? Yes, meeting the master is a servant's duty. Answering very matter of factly, she doesn't even bat an eyelash. Um, Hisui, I'm so happy you waited to greet me, but there's really no need to wait outside. I'll come back on my own, so you can just greet me whenever you realize I'm back. Hisui's face clouds slightly. Oh, maybe... Maybe she was waiting for me to return like this on Saturday and Sunday. Hisui, um... I understand. Starting from tomorrow, I will await your return in the lobby. This week gives a quick bow and opens the mansion gate. This week turns around as she does so. <sighs> For some reason, the atmosphere isn't exactly conductive to conversation. This week closes the gate after I pass through as he silently walks to the entrance to open the door. And leads me into the lobby. I get to my room. Haka isn't back yet from her lessons. Kohaku-san is preparing dinner. And Yusui is cleaning the mansion. Jeez. There's nothing to do. Well, it is quite the mountain of studying, reviewing, and memorizing a student like me has to do. But I just don't feel like doing anything. Suddenly, Arquid's face flashes in my mind. Whether good or bad, it's probably just a reaction to the crazy two days I just had. Perhaps pacing out here in my room would be good, giving my mind and heart a break. After eating dinner by myself in the large dining room, Arquid treats my wounds and I go back to my room. I can't just make it back in time for dinner. Our lesson was apparently going to last a while, so he was going to eat away from home. It's past then at night now. It's a bit too early, but since I'm exhausted, I should sleep early tonight. My body is exhausted. But 
I can't fall into a deep sleep. The moons all on my body sting. I make up my mind as it tries to sleep. I look at the clock as a lion bed. It's past three o'clock in the morning. Already five hours un of unsatisfactory rest. Damn it, I can't sleep. Not being able to sleep when I want to. It's like torture. Tick, tick, tick. The sound of the clock second hand gets on my nerves. Tick, 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 creak, tick, tick, tick. Huh? I think I heard something mixed in with the ticking. It sounded like the door opening, but I would be coming at this hour. Tap, tap, tap. No, there's no mistake. Someone came into the room and is coming near me. Who is it? If someone was to come this late at night, it would be. Uh, I agreed, probably. There's no reason for Shia Senpai to be here. Neither for Akia to visit like this. Hey, Chiki, wake up. I hear a voice by my ear last night. The voice I heard until right before I slept. The voice I can't forget. Arcturid? I should have been bad to look around in the room. Good evening. I'm glad you seem well. What are you doing here? Akwit greets me with, a, with smiling eyes. Uh, good evening. Why did you come here? Is it strange for me to come here? Or be here? Strange? Of course it... Well... Maybe not, come to think of it. Tonight's nice her time, so I guess it isn't strange for her to be anywhere. Aren't you the one acting strange, Shiki? I came all the way here to see you, and you're just lying there. Yeah, hold on. I get out of bed to stand up. But my body starts to tilt. And I fell back down on the bed. Oh, nothing is strange. Blood wells in the back of my head and my vision blurs. Something's wrong. Goodness, Shiki. I greet her up closer. She stands before me and her red eyes. You can't do anything like that, right? What a convenient situation. I can hear a voice right by my ear. What's going on with me? She's right in front of me, but I can't stare at her face. Something is wrong. Though I try to look at her face, my eyes won't move. Somehow, I am transfixed by the beauty of her body. Is the arrow gay by any chance? Her well shaped, soft looking bosom. Her delicately curved, embraceable hips. Delicious red lips. She's a vampire. How could I possibly think like that? Unable to move. I can only watch this arc draws closer and closer to me. Hey, I get dizzy. Something is weird. I can hardly breathe. My mind is blank. It feels as if my heart has stopped. I see. You can't move by yourself, huh? I hear a voice by my ear. Casually. Don't worry, Shiki. I will take good care of you tonight. <laughs> 